so much for coming to this job interview. Thank you. Now, why do you want to work for the New York City Sperm Bank? Well, I'm very neat. I'm very organized. And I'd love to taste all of your samples. I have lots of experience in that. But you don't have to taste it. Oh. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the view. Doodly 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 do 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 do. The last stretch. I'll hold one microphone. You hold the other. Oh, okay. Please don't drop the mic, says Igor. Igor please says, don't. Please don't drop the mic. Please don't drop please the mic. Please don't drop the mic. Please don't drop the mic. Please don't drop the mic. It sounds like a. That we should make a dance song. Please don't drop the mic. Please don't drop the mic. Yes, I like it. It was very catchy. All right, well, we have a guest. Thank you, Bronchitis. We have a guest in this topic. Yes, we have a guest. And this guest, ladies and gentlemen, if you have small children at home, go get them and make them come to this to the TV and watch this because it's a very shocking story filled with sex, graphic sex, and drugs. And your young children have to see this. Right on. Yeah. So, um, without further ado, we shall bring to the to the to the, to the, uh, pew. To the pew. Without further ado, we bring to the pew the Duke. Welcome, Duke. Clap your hands for Duke, ladies and gentlemen. Sit in the middle. Sit in the middle. In the middle. Duke in the middle. Oh, boy. And don't fall off the stage. No, new new sitcom. Not the bed. Duke in the middle. A Duke sandwich. Hi. This is a Duke sandwich. And um, Duke has some very interesting things to talk about. Nope. It may be interesting to me. Maybe not so uh, no, interesting actually, to everybody else. I actually think they will be interesting. interesting. I mean, Ernie, do you think they'll be interesting? Yes, this whole episode is devoted to tasting semen. Well, <laughs> and manipulation. <laughs> and mani and the, manipulation. This, this they go hand in hand. Is, yes, this is like where this. Manipula the tasting of semen and manipulation cross. It's the intersection of oh, tasting man, of semen and manipulation. All on it's a very spot. interesting spot. Uh, well, yeah. It's a G-spot. <laughs> yes, it is. So what's, what's your recipe for manipulation? Well, I don't know if I really have one. I, I guess some things just come natural. It's just, I don't know. Well, how what did, about yours? Well, you were very, you seemed very manipulative. You're As a child, yeah. Yes. I was really, I was a, I was a pretty manipulative uh, child. I, I was in, I'm interested by, by the stories about of your mother. Oh, um, yeah. The Mother's Ooh, Day yeah. cards you used to make my, for your mother. Can you my describe? My beautiful cards. What are the, yeah, show, hey, hold up one of the cards that you I, made. This, okay. these, I, these I must beautiful uh, uh, handmade cards made of uh, construction paper. Construction paper, paper yeah. and um, permanent magic marker. Yeah, very innocent, very, very, very innocent 12-year-old child. It seems like a really nice gesture yeah. until, you know, you see, you see this, like, beautiful Christmas tree and then you open it up and it's this woman having an abortion with a coat hanger, <laughs> drinking a bottle of wine, and you just sort of wonder what the fuck is going through this child's head and what drug is she on? So you, what did your parents think when, you, when they opened up this Christmas tree? That's, like, that's basically oh, like, Merry Christmas, Mom. I wish you had aborted me. Well, <laughs> no, actually, you know, last year on Gay Pride, I pulled her up, and my little sister's gay, and I'm in the gray area, and my older sister's gay, and I said, what's it like to know that all that your eggs are faggots? And she just sort of cried, like, whimpered for a second, and then said, please just go enjoy the parade, and it's like, please hang up and don't call me back until tomorrow. So I guess I've been doing this verbal terrorism for quite some time. Uh, well, yeah, maybe if you explain that the, the Mother's Day card you gave your mother when you were 12, yes. um, she, they will, the, the folks at home will understand more why your mother took me out I, I cut up a lot of porn. <laughs> I'd cut up Playboy. I'd cut but up your mother. Your mother was a Playboy model. My yeah. My well, my mother was a Playboy bunny. She was a model from the age of sixteen until thirty something. She was. She did uh, runway in Paris for Givenchy and Norma Kamali and Bally and all these big names. And she's a very beautiful woman. And she raised a very sick and morbid child. So I've been uh, basically terrorizing my family. So what what, what, what was the card <laughs> like the that you gave? It, on the front there was a, a it was a beautiful oh, yeah. innocent it's, looking card it's with very, flowers very, and construction paper. Very very innocent, something that says like, okay, this is going to be a nice experience, and then you kind of open it up and there's an aborted fetus floating. No, the Mother's line. Day card that you. Oh, the Mother's Day card yeah. is just it's just purely porn, like tits, ass, pussy, and it, anything and I could. Said, and then the, what was the saying that you wrote? What did you write on it? I don't even know. Well, I remember. It said love to love you. Yeah, love. Love to love you, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't, thank you very much. Oh, well, we, we've got to okay, we 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 wrap up this episode. What else can we wrap oh, up? We'll, we'll come back and talk because we have one more time to come. Oh, uh, oh the in the dub. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. We'll be right back. We'll, we'll take a we'll deep wait breath. On that. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the view. What are we doing? Welcome, turning back what? Igor is telling us to turn something around. Oh, he's always telling us. Turn what? Turn the beat around. Turn the beat around. Turn the beat around. Love to hear percussion. Love to hear it down. We're gonna talk. Turn it down. We're gonna talk about men tasting their cum. Yes, because it's not as common as I thought it was. I thought. Uh, being a gay man, a, a homosexual American, I thought that all men tasted And cum. a Muslim, too. And a Muslim. Being a Muslim, being a devout Muslim, uh, a traditional devout, fundamentalist Muslim, <laughs> I thought that all men tasted the crumb. And initially, the story came from, from Duke. She, that, that's what brought us into this topic. She, she, she had a story about the crumb. And, um, and I asked Patrick the other day if all men taste their crumb, and he said no. Well, Michael asked me if I ever tasted my cum, and my answer wasn't yes or no. It was just, oh, I can't remember. Right, which is what which you took as a sign of how jaded you were, because it was like you can't remember drinking your own pee or eating your own poop. Yeah, um, ma maybe. Right. <laughs> um, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I tasted my cum. And what did it taste like? It tastes like um, saline solution a little bit. Um, well, some of some of our guest hosts tonight have tasted their own cum, and we're gonna bring them on so that they can give. Bring on the cum eaters. eaters! So let's bring on Hush first. Hush, 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 Hush come up here and tell us about the cum you ate. So tell us about the cum you ate recently. Cum try, uh, cum tried his own Hush. Hush tried his own cum. My cum? Or like other people's? No, your cum. Did you taste your own? Oh, I have many, many times. And what does it taste like? Well. Is what, what? Saltines or planters peanuts? Cum is like pulling an espresso shot, so a cum shot is kind of like an espresso shot. Oh, oh, cum shot like a shot. The shorter that you like spend time milking that shit, like it's gonna be very, very sour, and the oh. longer it's gonna be bitter. Wait a minute, you talk, you saying the longer you ma you masturbate the penis or whatever the penis, the the, the more sour it will taste. Bitter, bitter, bitter. shorter, sour. I was not aware of this. Yes. But if you do it it's quickly, it'll taste like a crybaby tear. Yeah, so you need to find the perfect time, which is about 24 minutes. 24 minutes? 24 minutes. You're here, folks, on pew. You <laughs> that's, stroke, because, that's because Hush is 24 years old. You stroke your penis for 22 minutes, or you <laughs> let them, you go job, or you fuck them for, 22, for 24 minutes, and then you let leash a torrent. Yeah. Sperm. And it has an undertone of like a truffle flavor a with truffle a flavor. with a bit of like a caviar. It's very nice. Is, is it fishy? Nice. No. If you do it for too short of a time then it That's tastes like a, it, it tastes like an oyster. It tastes like an oyster if it's too I short. Don't like oysters. No, me neither. No, I do. Not used I to like it. Oysters. Well thank you, Hodge. Yeah. You would be a great cum eater. Ernie Glam would be a great cum eater, ladies and gentlemen. You heard him say it, he would be a great cum eater. We've got another about uh, another testimonial from Valentine. He's gonna Another testicle about. testimonial. Test <laughs> Valentine. Another testicular testimonial. Please approach the stage, Valentine. Tens across the board. <laughs> Have a seat here. Tell us about the time you eat cum. No, what, what Tell is us you, how much you love to eat cum. What does your ta cum taste like? What does mine taste like? Yes. Well, um, from my experience, it tastes like pineapples. Pineapple. Like? You've got pineapple-flavored cum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you heard it here first. Valentine has pineapple flavored cum. It's not salty? It's not salty? Um, it's a little salty, but it's more on the sweet side. Okay. So it's sweet <laughs> pineapple flavored cum. So you've got truffle flavor from Hush and pineapple from Valentine. And so if they fuck, will they have truffle pineapple flavored cum? <laughs> like a combo, like a infusion. Oh. Truffle pineapple infusion cum. All the more reason you viewers should come to the Love Gun to find out. To find out, yes. Come here to find out. You're, you're going to find out if you come here. That's why I'll have another drink, please. And you'll find out with any laugh. You'll find out with the day's <laughs> Thank you, Valentine. 
Bitches want to know. Oh, they want to know how many drinks you've had. <laughs> uh, I've had three. Oh. And you're already like this, and you're driving home. Good. I'm a lightweight. Yeah. Jerry Stabula wants to know when the last time Michael spoke to Peter Gation and what was going on with the ligula. What is going on, honey? You, you spread that. Um, the last time I spoke to Peter Gation was the last time he needed something from me. That was um, oh. probably... Um, Peter Gation is the ex-owner of the limelight, yeah. for those of you who don't know that. Yeah. And the last time he needed something from me... Oh yeah, he needed me to say something... Yes, he needed me to say something uh, in court that would get him off of uh, some charges. Um, he wanted me to lie or, or something, so I did. Um, and um, then he got off, and then he never spoke to me again um, until he needed me again um, to be in the limelight documentary and say nice things about him. Um, and then Jennifer, his daughter, came. He prostituted her and sent her up to visit me um, and made her promise me all these things. Um, and he had to be, uh, say nice things about him in the video again. Um, and then I did, and then um, he never talked to me again. That was the last time. Which, it may seem like a loaded question because I had that answer already, but it wasn't. <laughs> Shout out to Peter Gation and Jen Gation. No hard feelings. Yeah, no hard feelings. Thanks for coming. And, and I do it again. Next time you need me to lie and get you off of some whatever crimes you're committing, I will do. And, um, yeah, no hard feelings. Thanks for watching the view. Thanks, Thanks for coming to London. See you next week. <laughs>